So in today's world, there's a lot to complain about. You could complain about anything. You really could if you really think about it. One of the funnier things is that there are always complaints about Nintendo games, video games, and just everything in general. You see it from Nintendo Directs and just look at the chat for one moment and you can literally see the frustration that some people have towards how things are done with Nintendo. Now, as I said, when it comes to Nintendo, if you had an opportunity to actually speak to powerful people, what would be the first thing that you do? Now, I would like you to put that down in the comment section below. Make sure to like on the way down there and subscribe also too, because you know, my name's Ken and I love to do content. But let me, let me know what you would complain about. What would you complain about if you had an opportunity to sit down and talk to very powerful people at Nintendo. Well, for me, it would be the internet, you know, the net code, and basically just trying to make little improvements to try to make the game actually better, fixing the matchmaking. A lot of you guys would tell me, fix the map. Some of you guys would probably have detailed PowerPoint slides of how they could fix the maps. Now, for a lot of people, those things are very high in the order <laughs> for you know, things that Nintendo needs to fix when it comes to Splatoon 3. Now, at a annual shareholders meeting, which Nintendo has, they actually had something very interesting happen. Now, this tweet is actually brought up by Oatmeal Dome, and at Nintendo's annual shareholders meeting, a Splatoon fan complained directly to the company president about preferential treatment of girl inkling and octolings in splatoon 3 now could you imagine sitting down like you they're having conversations about sales and how they can improve on the nintendo brand how they can take the number one slot in the world for just having the most sold console of all time and then you have somebody complain about preferential treatment to women now, this isn't something new. A lot of you guys will actually think that this isn't something new, but or think that this is actually something new. But no, there have been people that have been complaining about this for a very long time. And as many of you guys don't know, in Splatoon 1, the woman's model was the basically the main model. That's why for a lot of the outfits and just everything in general, they were a lot better. Nobody really cared. We all just picked the woman model because it was the better one and that was really it nobody cared that that that's really at it at the end of the day but there are some people out there that have taken notice on the fact that nintendo has strayed away from men male counterparts or idols in their series now i'm gonna be real with you in gaming men have had a very long stretch of being the protagonist being everything it's, Splatoon is a little bit nice with the fact that they have this, but again, could you imagine this? Supposedly it's starting up like drama actually on Japanese Twitter. So it's actually hilarious and it, continuing on actually, apparently they were talking for quite a while and Fuwakara, company president, eventually had to interrupt to say that their question was too long. The person kept going. In the end, Fuwakara's response was simply, Thanks for your opinion. And I'm not gonna lie, that is probably the funniest situations that you can like just think about when it comes to a shareholders meeting. There were so many things that you could have gone to. And yes, we know, yes, I know somebody's gonna say big man, this, that, and the other. You, you know what people mean when they bring this up. It's very interesting. And even till this day, a lot of people will say that the woman model, uh, again, they, they've moved away from gender. I know, I know that, but it's just a little bit more easier for, I guess, specification, I'm sorry. Um, but again, it, it's just very interesting when you think about it because yes, there are a lot of people in the Splatoon community that use the woman model more than the the man model or the male model or the boy model whichever you want to call it and you've noticed that like even with gear and how things work out and how hairstyles are a lot of people like how they fit with the woman model a lot better now does anybody actually really care about this no i i would hope that anybody that's in my chat or in my 
genuine comments doesn't really care about this and just finds this absolutely hilarious because i i'm not gonna lie to you i saw this this morning and i just have to say i would love to be in this meeting First of all, I know I can't speak Japanese. Like I, I obviously I understand that it's more to see the fluctuations and just like the tone of how this went down. Because again, as I said, for anything for Splatoon 3, you could talk about the maps. You could talk about the frame drops. You could talk about the lackluster content when it comes to like the three month cycle. Now, there's so many things. There's so many things. There, you could talk about the fact that you even would like say that, yo, the Switch is an older like console at this point. When are we getting a new one? By the way, that copium is dead, by the way. I'm, I, 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 I would love to see a new one, but it's probably not going to happen. Outside of that, I really would love to know what you guys think about this situation. Again, even in the beginning, we've talked about the fact that, you know, some people wanted um, men, male models uh, as their like you know the flagship for splatoon 3 again i don't really care i love the direction of splatoon i love how they go about like their characters and i think that it's very interesting that this is something that even made it to twitter it's a very interesting and funny response to see this happen at a shareholders event well i don't know like what's going to happen next maybe there's more to the story maybe more will come out of it but truthfully this is probably one of the more funnier Splatoon Twitter moments, I guess. And the fact that this made it out instead of anything else regarding trying to make Splatoon better is always interesting to me. So again, as I said, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys actually even care about this? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, please. We are super close to 15K and then we're trying to go on to 20K and then 30K and then trying to take over the world. So that, that's basically what we're trying to do because I don't know a lot, but I know a little bit of things and this is Ken Knows and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Have an amazing day. Peace out.